Today's video is Shanghai Garden. This takes me back to a visit to China, during the which time I visited a garden called Shenshan Garden and enjoyed it very much. Today I want to share with you some of the images, some of the plants I came across and the video should last about seven to eight minutes. There were lots of agaves, especially variegated agaves, and some of these were my true favorite. Also interesting was the structure. Generally speaking, here in London, where I live, you have the old Victorian glass house. These did not exist in Shanghai. What you had was the plastic, almost spherical, and the structure had no central poles to block your way. It was open and circular, very interesting. I love the way they mixed ferrocactus with agaves. In fact, it was a, generally speaking, very nice mix, which in many ways pleased me very much. Ah, euphobia. The specialist type of euphobia, which I do like. growing very healthily. And there were also quite a, a lot of them. And this I remember as very interesting because they were euphobia as well, but slightly cristate. Some of it, like these, carried the very normal looking leaves. Others somehow were showing signs of proper cristate plants. Look at this one, for instance, okay? There were leaves, but not growing in what we would call the normal way, and in many ways, very unusual, but very interesting. Euphobia. Ah, this is definitely Pitaya, or as we all labeled, called it Hylocerus. And these were just about to bloom, if you can notice the flowers already getting ready to open. I thought it a shame, maybe because I was there slightly too slightly too early because it would have been very nice to see them in bloom. Pitaya, Hylocerus are very beautiful. Ah, we get into the Gusoni, Genocactus Gusoni. My word. I always had the feeling that Gusoni don't grow very well indoors 
this garden proves me very wrong. Because I noticed in between the ferrocactus, there were lots of gusoni, which were in fantastic conditions. There was a lot of light, of course, which came through the plastic. But I always assumed that you needed very much so natural sun to get the best out of our gusoni species. This showed me and this made me realize not always very true. There were times that I looked at them and I couldn't believe it. The garden also have a lot of columns, you know, tall species of cactus, which were quite impressive. Variegated Americana seemed to be the most popular plant. The aloes were also represented well, even though I don't think I did them justice. Uh, coming to the end of the trip, I decided I should get at least a few aloes in. Okay, you're looking at one, and look at quite a few in, in there. Yes, please. Some of your big size aloes, etc. Ah. This I identify as Kishokan. It was on its own in a very rocky, rugged part of the garden. This is in much contrast to the very large American variegated plants. But since I like Kisho Khan, I thought we must bring them. Okay, we end, generally speaking, with my favorite. Ah, yes, Gusoni, beautiful, looking, fantastic. And as I said, impressive to me because I didn't think that they were able to grow that well under cover. I suppose in many ways, this is undercover, even though it's plastic. Winston, showing you a fantastic view of Chenshan Garden.